Hey there, ghosts and ghouls! Warlock Boo here! How many of you think you'd do a good job surviving the zombie apocalypse? How many of you know better and know you'd be a good meal? Well, a bunch of you, I bet, would fall into this guy's category. Dumb, stupid luck on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. This is The Journal of a Weird Guy by Crystal Flask. Enjoy! Day one! Hey, there, journal. I think this may work out really well. A journal to keep all my ideas and stuff in. But just for the heck of it, hello there, readers. I'm Crystal Flask, amateur magical engineer, semi-insane scientist, and resident pun maker. Aren't you glad for fun puns? <laughs> this is a journal being written by me to record my ideas and general stuff. Well, I suppose if nothing too big is going to happen, things have been quite aside from a few mentions of the Elements of Harmony. Still want to figure out how those lovely little gems and their ability work. And a couple of weird deaths in the paperwork. Breaking news! Three stallions and one mare found half-eaten and with smashed heads. I hope nothing like that happens in this part of town. I do not like the idea of being monkeys. That's it for today, Journal. And I guess any pony, probably me, who's reading this in the future. Day 2. Hello again, Journal and readers, I guess. Today I made one cool tool, huh? That rhymes. Anyway, I found that by compressing air into a can and concentrating it into a small pipe via a hose and a button valve, I can shoot bottle caps out of the barrel by pressing the valve button. It's not much, but it's very fun to mess around with. In other news, there are more of those weird deaths with the eaten ponies. Ugh. I wonder what pony would do something like that. If they are ponies, well, that's all for today. Day 3. Hello, Journal! Today was a bit scary. There are even more of those weird deaths and the police are going around everywhere. There were ponies talking about creepy monster ponies in the alley. Maybe my new Captain Cannon will be useful after all. I can see it already. Mysterious Unicorn saves ponies from monster ponies with strange cannon. No way that's happened. The police probably already have gotten them all. Ha! I write that like there are pony monsters in the alleyway. Also improve my cannon to have a large tank and a gauge to tell me how much air is left. As well as a small pump. That's all for now. Good night, journal. Arthur's notes. <laughs> Captain Cannon. <laughs> Day 4. Dear Journal, I can't believe what I saw on my way back from the parts store today. I actually saw a monster pony eating another one. I got back here as fast as I can. Even worse yet, there are apparently reports of these zombie ponies being found attacking others all across the Crest Equestria. I don't know if I should go, stay, or see if I can use my cannon to get the monsters so they don't eat me. I really don't know what to do. Why are the zombie ponies everywhere? They're not real, right? I'm not sure anymore. Not much else happened. But to be honest, I think this will not end well. No matter what I try to do. Day 5. Dear Journal, it's all going insane out there. There were so many of those monsters, I've locked myself into the workshop. It's physically and magically reinforced. Walls should protect me from for a while. I wonder if my mom and dad got away. I hope so. I'm thinking about how my storage of snacks isn't going to last long. I guess my cannon really is going to be used. I just hope I can get it strong enough to make them die again. I can't believe I just thought that. I'd be killing ponies. Sure, they're already dead, I think. But wow, I guess that's all for now. Day 6. Dear Journal, I'm running out of food. I'm going to have to go out. I'm terrified. I may have made the cannon powerful enough to get them, but I'm still scared. What if one of them is one of my friends? I hope others got out. I wonder if they actually got all of the zombie ponies. Maybe I'll come out and there will be ponies waiting for me. I hope so. I'll head out. If this is my last message, whoever reads this, goodbye. I didn't die! There were zombie ponies, but I'm okay. Thank goodness my Icebox runs on the freezer run system. All the normal power's gone. I guess zombie ponies don't put coal in the boilers. <laughs> Managed to get it as well as the food in the pantry into the workshop without the zombie ponies noticing me. I think I should go look for survivor soup. At least when I'm sure the zombie ponies can't eat me. 
I'm going to see about using some spare plastic to make armor. Maybe there's some real hope after all. Okay, seven. Dear Journal, today I went out and I found Ophelia hiding in a box. I brought her back here. She said her name is Babs and was visiting some of her cousins here when this all happened. She really thinks all the machines in here are pretty cool. Usually, unless you almost make an explosion by turning the button on without lighting it properly, that just stings. Still, it's nice knowing I'm not alone. That's all for now. Oh, and Bab says hi. Day 8. Dear Journal, with Bab here, I'm going to look for more survivors. I hope I can find at least one of my friends. I'm going to check out their houses to see if they are here. There. I hope I make it okay. Still sticking to the don't be munchy thing. I went there. I actually had to shoot one of the zombies with my cannons. It was very disturbing to see some pony's head explode. After looking around, I found another pony by the name of Coco Pomez. I remember her from the big fashion event where a mare by the name of Rarity won after another mare called Surrey had herself disqualified for stealing designs. I also searched for my friend's house. Most got away, but Doomrill, he was the one zombie pony I had to shoot. After he snuck up behind me in his house, everybody else seemed to have gotten away fine. I hope I find them. Coco decided to stay here with me and Babs, probably because I said my workshop walls were kind of a fortress-like. She and Babs seemed to like each other. That's all for now. Gonna check more places tomorrow. Day 9. Dear Journal, today I went around some more. I've noticed that for such a large population, zombie ponies apparently don't stick around that long. I met three ponies hiding in the basement of a strangely out-of-place house. One was a pegasus named Blossomforth, one was a unicorn by the name of Lyra, and one was an earth pony that I know from the Royal Orchestra, Octavia. Wow, a famous musician! What's next? The elements of harmony are going to fall out of the sky and turn the zombie ponies outside the peanut butter? I must really be hungry to have thought of that. Sorry. Another thought occurred to me. Why has every pony I found been mares? Meh. <clears throat> when it comes to being a hero, yeah, <laughs> right, my ego. Why does it matter? They're ponies and they're not dead, and that's very, very good. Also found a weird zombie pony. He seemed to be using residual magic from an illumination spell of some sort. I really hope that was just a coincidence. Well, there's now six ponies here, with me included. After a few more days, we should go. I know full well that the comforting home of the electricity to magic energy is gone, and those crystal backup cells were only made to last 12 days in the case of a hurricane. The reinforcements are not that valuable to maintain. We just can't get out. After all, there are not too many of them. Day 10. Dear Journal, today I finished checking my friend's house. No pony was there. Never thought that would be a good thing. Here's another great fact. We're out! This is it. Well, kind of. After I finish this and leave the city, the authorities are confiscating this to assist in fighting out what went wrong. Documentations and a bunch of other junk. Oh, there are Thor ponies! What a weird guy, said Document Inspector. Nonsense notes before gathering copies and stamping unremarkable onto the file. Ugh, just 500 more files to go. So, my ghosts and ghoulies, my bronies and sisters, did you find out how to survive a zombie apocalypse? Not really. But it does raise some good questions. Could the zombies use magic? Why did they leave? What caused it? This journal gave more information than the little idiot that typed an unremarkable thought. But oh well, what do you think of it? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And remember to hit that subscribe button and like this video, or I'll haunt you for the rest of your days. Maybe, and I'm too lazy. But this is Warlock Boo. I hope to be spoken y'all later. Bye. Oh!